so it was really hard for me to try to figure out uh, my favorite book or my favorite quote, but I think what I'm going to go with for my favorite book is uh, The Chronicles of Narnia, really all of them, but specifically The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. I loved reading about the adoration and the longing that the Pevensies, and especially Lucy, um, and really all of the Narnians had for Aslan, and that just made me think about my own life and my relationship with God and how that can be such a beautiful relationship, is such a beautiful relationship, and how personal of a God he is and how he's there to um, teach us and guide us and lead us, comfort us, and he's just always there for us. So reading about Aslan made me think about God and how important he is and how amazing that relationship really is. I'm Lizzie, and my favorite C.S. Lewis book is Till We Have Faces. One of my favorite books from this semester is definitely The Voyage of the Dawn Shredder. It's one of my all-time favorite books and um, I always love rereading it and being able to discover new layers in it that I hadn't seen the last time I read it. It's one of those books that kind of gets deeper and deeper as you read it each time. And I think the way that Lewis portrayed and grew each of his characters throughout the course of the story, like um, Eustace, of course, and Lucy, and uh, Reepicheep, and even uh, Aslan. It's just it's so skillfully done. It's dear to my heart. It's very personal to me. Um, I've, I've grown up reading it over and over again, and uh, I love the whole Narnia series, of course, um, but The Voyage of the Dawn Treader is probably my top favorite. My favorite quote, there's a lot to choose from. But I think I'm going to go with one from Till We Have Faces, um, and it reads, I know now, Lord, why you utter no answer. You are yourself the answer. Before your face, questions die away. What other answer would suffice? And I love this sort of along the same lines because uh, of just reading about the wonder of God and how he is so big and powerful and holds everything in his hands and how he is the answer to everything. Just reading that quote made me think of God in my life and um, how amazing and powerful he is. My favorite quote is also from the same book and it's no man can be in exile if he remembers that all the world is one city. One of my favorite quotes from this class, it's hard to pick just one, but um, one of my favorites is from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe towards the beginning when Peter and Susan are talking to the professor about Lucy and um, how she's found this magical world. And the professor says, Logic, said the professor half to himself. Why don't they teach logic at these schools? There are only three possibilities. Either your sister is telling lies, or she is mad, or she is telling the truth. You know that she does not tell lies, and it is obvious that she is not mad. For the moment then, and unless any further evidence turns up, we must assume she is telling the truth. I love the simplicity of the professor's approach to what Peter and Susan are explaining to him. He just simply goes straight to logic and considers the possibilities and pretty much deductively reasons that Lucy is telling the truth, and I love how um, direct of an approach that the professor takes to the situation. My favorite C.S. Lewis writing is probably screw tape letters because it makes spiritual warfare seem very real. The one that I liked the most was the very beginning one, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, because it really set a pattern for me of what it was possible to do with fiction that was Christian in origin or in its ideas, but it was a really good story. So when you come right down to it, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was the first book I ever read where I was able to pick out pretty clearly the Christian allegory that was underlying the whole structure of the story. And yet what engaged me first and most was the story. The deeper meanings came later as you thought about it and as I engaged with it, you know, just in a remembering kind of way and oh, I enjoyed them. Oh, I didn't realize that and that kind of thing. So. Really, it was that first one. My first um, introduction to C.S. Lewis was The Chronicles of Narnia, and they still are some of my favorite books. They opened up my imagination, and I would read them and kind of visualize what was going on in the stories, and they really kind of started my deep love of reading and making a, an imaginary world come to life in my mind. And I went on to read some of his other books, uh, The Screw Tape Letters, and um, some of his other um, essays on Christianity and uh, being bold in the world. 
I haven't read all of his books yet, and I plan on reading a lot more, but so far my favorite book has been The Scripted Letters. It kind of looks at human nature and everything objectively, and it lets you look at the mistakes that we all make at some point and the tendency that we have to fall short in the perspective of somebody who is not a human themselves. My favorite C.S. Lewis writing is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which is the fourth book of the Narnia series. And it's my favorite because it's the one I remember my dad reading to me the best. He would take the time to read it with me and he would do all the voices with the Reaper Cheap Boys. And um, we would talk about it and it meant a lot to me um, for my dad to spend time with me like that and just to listen to such a great story. I get really frustrated when I read things like many different um, authors who write inspirational fiction. They too often let theology trump good writing. When I'm reading something, I really want something that's written well. I want a story that's going to entertain and engage and whatever else you want to call it. One where I can lose myself in that world. I am not interested in something where it's trying to teach me something very obviously to the detriment of the story, where the story is so manufactured that it's not a good story anymore. I really, really like the scene where Eunice is a dragon and he meets up with Aslan and it's kind of like baptism and I don't, that scene just always gets me and I, I really appreciate it and um, I think about it quite often actually. Some of Lewis's stories like that make so much more sense than some of his other stuff that's very scholarly but just because I understand stories better and he told some great stories. This book has affected me because it's kind of made me realize how intentional the devil is just throughout my everyday experience. When I was a kid, C.S. Lewis affected me um, in a way that made me love reading. But all the first ones especially, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of Don Treader, The Silver Chair, The Horseman's Boy, all those, those were great and I loved them and they really did opened my mind to the fact that, you know, you can teach good stories, but you can, you can do it in the middle of what is really a good story to read. The book has really changed um, how I think about people and how they sin. We're strange and complicated, and we can understand everyone's motives but our own sometimes. It helped me look at everybody as what we were, what we are.